Antoine Vermette on the line now, newest member of the Columbus Blue Jackets, and he joins us here on NHL Live. Antoine, welcome to NHL Live, and how do you feel about the deal? Thanks. Oh, uh, yeah, a lot of things going on right now, to be honest. It's a busy morning. Uh, uh, some There's two parts of it. Obviously, you're, if you look back at the last few years, you've been growing with uh, one organization. It's always, uh, uh, always not a pleasant uh, time to see uh, one guy leaving in that case obviously it's me uh you know you go uh, in the room and you say hi to the boys um it's not the fun part of it you 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 feel like you you've been through some stuff here with the, the fans and everything uh but in the other end you get uh, you look at the other side and see a team like the blue jackets where they are uh, having a good year this year i think it's pretty exciting for the fans as well they're they're putting a good show and uh, they're putting themselves in a position where they can make playoffs so that's very uh, challenging and exciting that way so uh it's a little mixture of uh, feelings Antoine, you had to play behind some decent players in in the Ottawa organization. Your role might be magnified. You may be elevated in the depth chart in Columbus. What have you been told by Columbus's organization about where you're going to fit in? Oh, that's. Uh, I have a brief uh, talk with uh, the management there, and uh, they were excited having me. I was excited to uh, to have a chance to talk with them. Um, as far as uh, my role, we. We didn't go uh, too long on that, but uh, it just seems to be uh, to be happy to, to have me in the team. And uh, it sounds like what I could get is uh, I'm gonna have some some good ice time. And uh, uh, I don't know who I'm gonna play with, but uh, certainly they have some uh, some good players there. A lot of times, Antoine, people talk about a change of scenery will do a guy good. This year, you had, you know, last year you had a career year offensively. This year, not as much. Are you looking forward to the change of scenery, the change of pace, going from a crazy, you know, Ottawa kind of very small fishbowl market into Columbus? Well, you know what? It's, uh, yeah, it could be good, um, but I, I think uh, some tough stretches during season and I have to be honest uh, personally it's been uh, since Christmas it's been uh, going pretty good on my side and I uh, just had a rough uh, beginning as far as the production uh, on, on the score sheet that, that was tough but uh, you know as the image of the team everybody was uh, you know trying to get the team going and we really uh, didn't have the, the season here that we were expecting uh, collectively so that result in as well but yeah, like you said, sometimes you, uh, you you see uh, some some players going somewhere else, and then uh, you know they're putting in different situations, uh, take off from them. So uh, I hope uh, I hope to see that. Antoine, I want to ask you because you know when you make a trade to a new, go to a new team, you're concerned about teammates, but also about the head coach. Ken Hitchcock is the coach in Columbus, and and to me. Antoine Vermette would be the type of player that Ken Hitchcock would love to have on his team. Does that make you feel good that it seems like the, the puzzle, you're going to be a piece of the puzzle with a coach that kind of coaches your way? Well, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm assuming they, uh, they had some talk uh, with the management, the coach, to, to see who can can fit there. I have, I have no clue, but uh, as far as I know, I know they, they were very interested about my uh, services uh, lately, last couple of months, they've been asking about me, and you know, as a player, a perspective, you always feel good about that. You uh, you uh, you want to perform well, and you you feel welcome right uh, right away. So I'm sure that can. Uh, but it's it's good, yeah. Antoine, have you been able to put a finger on exactly what went wrong in Ottawa? No, uh, good question. Not really. Uh, there's a little. Um, just uh, we we had a slow start to to get things rolling and. And uh, guys been playing pretty good, better uh, last few months, uh, but no, it's uh, it's been a process. It's been a challenging year for everyone here. Antoine Vermette, newest member of the color of the Columbus Blue Jackets. Thanks for giving us a couple minutes. Really appreciate it. Best of luck the rest of the way. Okay, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Antoine Vermette, one of the first players traded today here at the deadline, happened before 10 o'clock Eastern time this morning as he brings some veteran leadership to a Columbus team, wins some face-offs. We had Scott Housen on earlier, and he did say that since December, when the calendar changed, he did feel a little bit better about his situation. So I guess that's good news for the Columbus Blue Jackets that he might be able to do a little bit more than just the nine goals he had in Ottawa so far this season. Well, he's going to be with guys that can, you know, especially Rick Nash, can put the puck in the net. And I, I do think 
for a player like him, you know, he, 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 he when you asked him what went wrong, he they're not sure. I think a change of scenery will do him yeah. well. I really do. It'll be a breath of fresh air for him. Listen, he had to play behind Jason Spezza and Mike Fisher in Ottawa. He ain't got them in front of him in Columbus. That was the one hole that Columbus needed to fill was the center spot. So Antoine Vermette, I think, is going to get a lot of greenhouse effect thrown his way in Columbus. And if you're the Columbus Blue Jackets, you gave him up for nothing on your current roster right. because it wasn't anybody that was already playing for you. Mason's the starting goaltender, so you add him to the concept of a team that's already going to the playoffs or feels like it can go to the playoffs in the playoff race right now, and I'm telling you, that City of Columbus is going to fall in love with hockey even more. Once they get Absolutely. a taste of the postseason, I saw it in Carolina, I've seen it in other cities, mm-hmm. you're going to see that city just catch fire, even if it's just a one-rounder. The taste of the playoffs is something they're really going to like. That, that arena district will be jumping. It will be. It'll be, it'll be fun. You hey, just, guys, if I can throw something in, it's a really weird situation, but Columbus has the worst power play in the NHL. I kind of look at that as a positive. If they can get into the playoffs, you know what? It's not going to hurt them if it doesn't work because they're not used to having it. And Vermette's not necessarily a power play guy, but just as an overall team aspect, it's just one of those little things that makes me feel they might be a little bit more dangerous than people are giving credit for. Remember last year, Montreal went into the playoffs with the best power play. When it stumbled, yeah. their whole team stumbled. Now Columbus won't have to worry about that. And anything they do get in the playoffs this year, if they get there, will be a complete bonus on the power play. I know it's hard to look back to junior numbers and say, hey, listen, this could work in the NHL, especially after you've been a pro for a few years. 57 goals in Victoriaville as last year junior. Antoine Vermette's been at least on somebody's power play. NHL Radio Insider Jay Feaster will close out the show next.